Hello, in this video we will discuss how to convert decimal to binary. Guys, first of all you want to know what are decimal numbers. As we write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These all are decimal numbers. But when we talk about binary, binary numbers are represented in form of bits. And a bit value is always 0 or 1. Let me give you some examples. If I talk according to an IP address, in IP address, if you remember in the last video, we have discussed that there will be 4 octets. In an octet, there will be 8 bits. So, let's say I have a number 192. The same here I have. And I want to write this number in binary. So, in total, how many bits I have? I have 8 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <coughs> I told you, this is MSB. Most significant bit. And this is LSB. Least significant bit. Now, the concern here is how we can write this decimal number into binary. In binary, how many bits I have? 8 bits. So, these 8 bits are represented as 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Now, which number you want to write? 192. So, it is very simple. The logic is for 192, you need 128. Because we have to make sum of bits to 192. So, if I need 192, I need 128. Yes, I need. So, I will turn this bit on. The value left will be 6. Fine. So, what is left? Still, we are left with 64. So, second bit value is 64. We need 64, so this bit is on. All other bits will be off. So, you can see here 128 plus 64 will be 192. So, if I want to write 192 in binary, representation is very simple. Double 1 and all 6. Consecutive bits will be 0. Okay, let's take one more example. Let's say you want to write 216. How you will write? For 216, you need 128. Yes, this bit will be 1. 128. Just subtract. How much more you need? 88. For 88, you need 64. Yes. So, just subtract it again. What you need now? 24. For 24, you need 32. No. For 24, you need 16. Yes. Just subtract 16 again. For 8, you need 8, yes. So, all other bits will be 0. So, this is the binary representation for the number 216. Okay, let me take one more example. Let's say number is 195. For 195, you need 128, yes. So, just subtract the value. Now, for 67, you need 64. Yes. Just subtract it. The value left is 3. For 3, you need 32. No. You need 16. No. You need 8. No. You need 4. No. You need 2. Yes. <clears throat> 2. Left is 1. And I need 1. So, this will be the binary representation of number 195.
So likewise, I have some more example. Let's say I have a decimal number 3 and I want to convert it. For decimal number 3, do I need 128? No. 64? No. 32? No. 16? No. 8? No. 4? No. I just need 2 and 1. So these bits will be on, all other bits will be off. So I can simply write 0000011. It will be binary representation for decimal number 3. Next, I have decimal number 15. So for 15, do I need 128? No. Do I need 64? No. Do I need 32? No. Do I need 16? No. Do I need 8? Yes. 15 minus 8, 7. For 7, do I need 4? Yes. 7 minus 4, 3. For 3, do I need 2? Yes. And for 1, do I need 1? Yes. So, this will be binary representation for number decimal number 15. So guys, this is how you can convert decimal into binary. Now, the main focus of this video is to make sure that you understand that IP address is divided into 4 octets. In each octet, we have 8 bits. And for those 8 bits, we can have a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 255. Thank you.